What's going on guys, it's your boy Shabon here back with another video and today I am super super excited because we have in store inside the studio, inside the room, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 ROG Strix. And to add the icing on the cake, it's the limited edition white version. So if you guys don't know, I think the limited edition white version has that championship ring inside, which I'm really excited to test out, but I don't want to rub it in too much. If you guys don't know, I had to pay resale. I did not manage to get this thing on their websites or anything because the bots are real. So if you're not buying this like from resellers, I'm not sure how did you get it, but I paid 2000 Canadian dollars for it. It's fine. You know, I wanted it. I know I'm paying extra, so don't mind, guys. But yeah, let's jump on into the unboxing. We're going to see how this looks in my white PC build. I'm not sure if it will fit inside my PC. I probably need to get the Leon Lee O11 Dynamic, the small one. But yeah, let's jump in. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and you like the content over here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on them post notifications, drop a like, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. But yeah, let's see what's inside the box. So looking around the box, you can see that we have this nice little rainbow effect on the ROG Strix logo. It's just a regular ROG Strix box, but it's in white. Up the top, we have GeForce RTX 3080, Republic of Gamers on this side. Around here, we have ROG Overclock, 10 gig, video RAM, all that stuff. 3080 again, down the bottom, more information about the card. And on the back, we have more detailed information about the card, like the cooling, the engineering, the aesthetic, the looks, the software you could use, all of that. So yeah, now it's actually time to open it. Oh my God, this is insane. All right, let's get it. This, this is huge, by the way, like this box is absolutely huge. All right, there we go. Whew, the first tab off. I don't want to tear anything, so I'm doing this gently. And wow, RG Strix card, man. Check it out, check it out. Uh, uh. Oh, we. You guys don't know how happy I am right now. Look at this beauty. Oof. Oh my God, it's huge. This is a huge card. Let me put that to the side for a little bit. So inside here, we have the championship ring that I was telling you guys about. So, yep, we got that championship ring. I'm not even sure if it could fit me, but damn, I'm balling. What's up? What's up? But that's so dope that they gave us like a championship ring, white edition. Oh man, Jesus, you didn't have to do it to them. You didn't have to do it to them. We also got some white cable ties. What else do we have in here? See what this is. Ooh. So I have this little ruler. I think this has the um the location to Asus headquarters right here in Cardinal Points. That's kind of nice. We have the magnetic thing to put on to the card on the back plate. We're gonna need that for sure. What else do we have in here? Then everything is just paperwork. I guess this is like a seal of approval, limited edition stamp card time. All right. Oh my God. This is a beauty. <laughs> at this card it's huge but it's beautiful oh my god asus outdid themselves with this card right here guys i'm not even gonna lie this is the front that's where the rgb is gonna be you have the pins around the back right here you can see we have 
six. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it uses three eight pins. I think it's the only car that does that. So taking a look at the side right here, how many ports do we have? One, two, three, four, five ports. So we have two HDMI and three display ports. Stainless steel, by the way. But wow, look at these coils. I think they said that this card has the best cooling, but man, I just, I just can't believe I have this in my hand right now. This is, it's crazy. I'm really grateful to be having this in my hands. Actually, now it's time for the peeling feeling. So let's get rid of all these plastics. card is fully naked it's ready for the, the PC but yeah now let's just go ahead and take a look but let's just give it some sexy b-roll <laughs> build a couple days later i'm really happy with how everything turned out the card looks amazing i love it to death especially just the little rgb light down here now as i mentioned in the video in order to fit this card in the corsair 2080x case i had to remove the two side fans insert the card and then reattach the side fans if you don't do that the card will not fit all right now in terms of um sagging the card's not sagging like um i thought it would i probably need to still get the gpu sag bracket but for now it looks amazing now coil noise is a thing that a lot of people ask about i've been using it for the past couple of days haven't heard any issue i did overclock the gpu i used the corsair i mean the asus gpu tweak 2 application to overclock it with the app so i could put i could put it in performance mode or silent mode with a switch on top or i could just do it in the application it works the same i'm not sure if like, it's the same procedure or when you use the switch it's going into beast mode or what but yeah you can do that in the gpu tweak application um the games that i tested i'm a i'm a fps guy i'm a shooter all right i do not play games like grand theft auto cyberpunk dead by daylight like games that you roam around the city and stuff like that no i'm just a multiplayer fps type of person so the, the monitor that I've used is a 1080p 240 hertz monitor for a couple of benchmarks. I played games like Valorant, Call of Duty Cold War and Fortnite, all right? So I tested it on 1080p, high settings, max settings, low settings. And I know the GPU doesn't really take advantage of it. Like it's not really going to this best ability in 1080p. So then I tried a couple of games on my 4K monitor. It's only 60 hertz, but I still played it unlimited. This 4K monitor is 30 four inches 
all right so it's 21 by 9 and i did maxed out and i realized that the graphics card had even like a little bit more fps at high settings than in 1080p so that was kind of cool to see and yeah we're just gonna see all the benchmarks so without further ado let's check it out CPU hot. Not something else after. No, it's like two things. I must have after burn on. Oh. See a llama, man. I'm gonna it.
No, no, no. Oh, I guess it is. Defenders win. Okay, now that makes it. That's a wrap. That's the end of today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the um, benchmark test. The CPU and the GPU was actually performing really well, knowing it's in the small case. I thought the temps was gonna be like super high, but the GPU was averaging around 64 to 70. It went up to 70 only when it had the RTX on, but like regular, it was averaging around 60, um, 60 to 64 degrees Celsius. So I recorded everything in Streamlabs while playing the game. So just imagine if I wasn't recording in Streamlabs, you know you get higher FPS, probably around 10 or 15. 15 more FPS but yeah let me know what you guys think about this build let me know what you think about the um the graphics card it's sick I love it also if you guys were wondering in order to change the RGB lights on the graphics card you have to use their armor create software you could go in there and change a bunch of different colors different modes but I don't really like it because every time I restart my PC and it turns on it resets the RGB effect so then I have to go back in and change it to like solid white or my favorite the rainbow effect but yeah you could control all the lighting effects in the armory create software that's built in with the RS light sync so if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to drop a like down below subscribe for more content like this road to 100k so if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on and post notifications I'd really appreciate it as always guys love peace and tweaks sign note